Hi, this is Scott. Um, I've got this website, Hansel Minutes, uh, and this is my podcast. And under Archives, I've got all of these pictures. These are all the pictures of the people who have been on the show. And each one of these pictures is currently stored in a folder called Images slash Shows. And it's basically uh, the number of the show and then a JPEG. And it's fine, and I've added some jQuery lazy loading, so you see how they don't actually load until you scroll there. So the bandwidth is not too bad, but uh, right now it's hosted in the North Central U.S. data center. And I am told that if I put it on the Azure Content Delivery Network, the CDN, then it will automatically take the images and then spread them across like 18 or 20 centers so people who would hit my site from Australia would get the images locally from Australia even though the site continues to be served from north central US I have never used uh, Azure blob storage and I have never used the Azure CDN uh, I know that it exists but I do not know anything more than uh, than you do so what I wanted to try to do was see if I could get it working like kind of in real time because I, I want to learn how it works so let's see uh, if it's any good. So I, I do have my Azure account uh, and I'm going to go to storage and say new storage uh, Hansel minutes CDN and that name is cool. Um, I guess I'll put it in North Central to start with but then I make sure that geo replication is on. There we go. Because it's free to start with, but if you they're saying if you turn it on later, it can have an impact. So I'll use my MSDN account. You can use whatever account you want. So I'm going to make a storage, so then you can see the locations. These are where my um, uh, virtual machines are. Okay, now it has made the container. It says resolving DNS. I don't know what that means. Sounds good though. I think it would be cool to have it be like images.hanselminutes.com. I wonder if we can do that. Okay, so it looks like it gave me a free URL. So let's look at that. Hanselminutescdn.blob.core Okay, so that's a real place, but it doesn't do anything. Geo replication is enabled. It's never happened. Primary north central, secondary south central. Do I need any monitoring? Here we go. Logging containers. Create a container. Okay. Uh, images. Ah, here we go. Uh, to allow public read access, to plus, use the public blog. And full public read access, use the public container. To the blobs, but not the container properties. Okay, so I want a public blob. Okay, so I have a container now to put my images. Ah, here we go. Handsome and CDN slash images. Cool. This container has no blobs. Okay. Okay, so now I've got Visual Studio and I am told that I need to go to the get the Azure SDK. So Visual Studio I have twenty 12. Let's run that. So I'm going to install this. All right. And close that. And then I'm going to go into Visual Studio. Let's 
server server explorers server explorer Azure storage add storage account oh, your subscription download publish settings So it's going to bring down a file, public settings file. All right, cool. Stick that uh, somewhere. Ah, nice. Handsome minutes. Okay. Ah. Blobs. Images. Okay, cool. View container. Has no blobs. So, upload. Well, here it goes. Let me look at the images blob, see if this is actually happening. Oh, see, it is coming up. And they have URLs. That's cool. Let's look at one of those. Nice. Okay, so I've got all those in images. And done. Cool. Okay, so now I want. Uh, a CDN. I want the CDN to point to my stuff, so I can get to it from Hansel Minutes CDN. Not blah 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 blah. I want it to be images. .com. So manage domain. You point custom domain. Domain name. Images. Minutes. .com. Point it to this. Okay. C name from my domain to there. Okay, so let's go to DNS simple to Hansel Minutes. Add a C name uh, images. Okay, so images.hansomins.com is the now the CDN. Now register the C name above. So that points to verify.azure.com. Add C name verify.azure.com. Okay. Click validate. Your custom domain is active. Okay, okay. So then that means this can be now images.hanselminutes.com. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. So that then, I'll go into the code for the site. Here's where I'm keeping my images right now.
and I can check the network. Go to archives. Nope, those are wrong. Okay, so let's double check archives. There we go. So now that becomes. I could probably put this into a uh, config somewhere. Cool. That should be it. Clear that out. Go back over here. Three oh eight. Specified blob doesn't exist. Let's get them all. So it looks like one didn't make it up. Oh, it's case sensitive. Azure GN case sensitive. Yes, container names, so lowercase blob names are case sensitive. Ah, uh, okay. So everything's case sensitive. And some of mine are uppercase JPEG and some are not. So I'm going to remove them all. and write a little PowerShell script to make them all lowercase. So those files are in Dropbox Handsome Insights Handsome Minutes Site Images Shows Okay. So I want to take them all and rename them all where the uh, where the new name is going to be the old name and just have dot uh, probably dot dot uh, to lower. But I don't know if that's going to work, so I'm going to say what if. Oh, it's um, underscore dot to lower invariant. Cool. All right, let's go back over here. Remove completed, upload them again. All right, here we go. Cool, so they're all up there, they're all lowercase. They're all loading. And the 
the images are all coming from the and the images are all coming from CDN. Rock on. So that wasn't too bad. The case sensitivity thing is kind of a bummer, but it makes sense, I guess. And I probably want to tell the system that these are related. So Hansel Minutes has the database. And now the storage account, Hansel Minutes, is also kind of linked so that they know that they're all. I don't know what that does. But I suppose if I delete them, then they'll all delete as a group. So they know that they're linked. So oh, I can and I can browse to it from here directly. Cool. So I added a CDN. I changed my paths, updated all of my images, and I'll probably go and download uh, like a standalone Explorer application. I know that there's this Azure Storage Explorer because when I go and um, publish my application, I'm going to want to have my images automatically show up over there. So I'll probably either use the Storage Explorer or uh, I guess I could use Visual Studio, which I don't have on all of my machines. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how that went. Cool. I hope that that helps somebody. Hey, this is Scott again. Uh, actually, this is the next day. It turns out when I turned this on that I had configured the CDN uh, as a public blob, and you can see here it's working great, and I'm getting lots of... Uh, lots of hits and everything's fine so it is serving stuff but it turns out that I had not actually made it a CDN I had made it a publicly accessible blob and I was exposing the images to blob storage but this new portal the new portal that I manage all of my things in in Azure doesn't yet include the ability to turn on the CDN so in order to do that I had to click on previous portal and this is going to take me off to the older Silverlight portal from last year. And it is inside of here, uh, where this functionality is not yet available into the uh, other portal. I had to click on CDN here, Hosted Services. You see it says CDN, okay? And then make a new endpoint. So I had to go and say new endpoint, and then I picked my uh, CDN and then they assigned me this name so now my endpoint is here and they, so the CDN is different than a public blob storage but I said to my public uh, blob that I wanted it to feed the CDN so you see the images in here in my storage account feed the CDN endpoint and at that point then I clicked add custom domain and then associated images.hansel minutes I went back over into DNS simple and then changed it to point to the new CDN. Okay, so the first part of the video does show you correctly how to have a custom domain point to a public container, uh, but what I wanted is to use the CDN. This is what gives me that edge caching, that geo uh, replicated stuff. Uh, before, when I clicked geo replication, I was making that available through the blob storage geo replication, but not the CDN itself. I've updated the post and I'm adding this to the end of the video to make sure it's clear. So your images can be put in public blob storage, can be served there, can be served there from a public custom domain, or you add the CDN endpoint and then associate your domain with that. Now, when I hit hanselminutes.com and hit archives, now these images are coming out of the CDN. So these are actually being sent and cached and managed through the CDN. Thanks, everyone, and I appreciate the help uh, from the commenters on my blog.